I'm cutting down the sock, so then I have two legs. Now I'm cutting the two arms. And I'm cutting down this. Okay, so we have our this is our body, the arms, and the legs. I'm sewing the legs. I'm getting them ready to sew. And I'm gonna get the arms ready to sew so I can do it all at once. So this is the arm and the heel of the, the sock actually makes a little bit of a shoulder. I think grandma used a lot more pins than I do. <laughs> I just want to pin it enough so it doesn't shift while I'm sewing it. And she probably used, I, we can check, I, I usually do about an eighth of an inch seam allowance. just chain sew it so I can just do it all at once. So I've done the arms and now I'm going to do the So the feet are going to be the raw edge and then the edge of the sock will be the top part so you won't have to worry about it freeing because it's already finished for the sock. So now you have to flip them so they are right side. So you just gather them up and flip it. So there's one foot or leg. And then here's the other one. And here's her arms.
looks like I missed uh, in my sewing. I didn't completely cover it, so I'm going to flip it back around and do it. Better check this one. to stuff them. So this is going to be your doll body and then the arms and then the legs. So we're going to get um, polyfill and we're going to stuff the the sock with the stuffing. So you just you just stuff it. You just get little pieces and stuff it in. Sometimes um, to get it in the hand part, you get a pencil and you kind of um, mold it into the the hand. Okay. So there's our legs and our body and our arms. So you get some crochet thread, you're going to wrap it around and make the neck. And then just tie it in a square knot in the back. So I'm going to sew on the legs. trickiest part because with little kids you want to make sure that the legs are on really securely because they'll be pulling on them a lot. You don't want them to come off. Okay. So now I'm just going around the legs to kind of attach them to the bottom. So they're sewn on, but I, I want them to be really, to look cute on the body. So I'm going around by hand and I'm just doing a, a quick tacking strip or stitch to attach the leg to the body. Yep. And I'm just gonna keep, instead of stopping and tying it off and then starting on the other leg, I'm just going to go 
all the way across just to connect with the other leg now. And I worry that there's more opportunity for your stitches to come out. And since kids will be playing with this, you want it to be pretty resilient. And it's fun with the sock, you can start adding with the needle stitching, you can add more details. Like grandma used to add belly buttons just by just sewing, you know, sewing a little stitch around the tummy. So I can show you that too while I'm doing it. Tuck. Yeah, I'm you tucking the seam okay. in under the leg to make it look more finished. That's where kids the will really pull at the legs. So yeah, that's where she really tried to make sure it was put stay stitched pretty good there. So to do the belly button, I'm just going to bring my stitch and do like a little running stitch. It's fun, huh? So there's lots of things that you can add to your doll to make it a little bit more unique. And then I'm just going to push my needle to the bottom again. And I'll just finish it off by doing a knot. And then the legs are done. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just pin this on. And you just do the same thing you did with the legs. You just go around. So she just would loop it and push it into the machine.
Okay, we're gonna stop there and I'll show you. So this will be our doll's things. So we'll put it on the doll. So what you do is you get a card for the um, ponytails, you get a cardboard and you're going to just wind it around 70 times. Yeah, but more or less depending on how thick your yarn is. This is baby yarn, like yarn you use for baby afghans, so it's a little bit thinner. A little softer. Okay, this is the tricky part. Which, what we're going to do is take the yarn off the the cardboard, and since I'm, you want to keep it in that lined up way. I'm going to just add some tape. See if that helps. Helps it keep its shape. We'll see. Just so I, I can be sure that it's going to stay, I'm going to actually just turn it around and sew over it again. Okay, so now we're ready to sew on the hair. So we have our bangs that we've already sewn. I'm just going to put them down. So now we're just going to tack down the hair we sewed. You're going to tie the ponytails. So, just like you did with the neck, you get some, some crochet thread and you just wrap it around a couple times.
then I'm going to just make a bow out of ribbon. We're gonna sew it on to this. We're going to tack down the hair to the doll's head right here. So now it's <laughs> the face. Exactly. So the eyes are a satin stitch. So what you do is you get your um, pencil and you're going to just draw on eyes and a nose and a mouth. Gonna do a back stitch around the eye. I don't know if that's enough. <laughs> 